With me today, I've got yet an, uh, again another one of our students in our uh, coaching program, Mr. Dominic Zimmer. Dominic, thanks for being out with me today. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Brandon. Yeah, it's good to be here. Awesome, awesome. So excited to kind of walk uh, the audience through your story about you know what your business looked like before we met, what it looks like after we met, and we'll unpack all of that. But before we jump into the details, you know what market are you in, and, and give us an idea about your production level. Sure. So I'm in the Boise, Idaho market. And uh, for the last three years, we have been right in that $8 million a year in production. Love it. Love it. So yep. walk the people through what you were doing and what your mindset was like, you know, before you joined our coaching program, before you and I ever met. Yep. Yep. So um, quick overview. So I've been, this is my end of my fifth year in real estate. Prior to that, I was a commercial fisherman in Alaska. I was on the ocean for 20 years. I had no sphere of influence, like none, and um, rather abruptly changed into internet, uh, into into real estate. My wife was already doing real estate, but we had a very small sphere of influence. So right away, we found our way into um, you know into a program that taught us how to uh, work with expired listings. And so for 2016, 17, and 18, there were still quite a few of those in our marketplace. And we were able to build a business off of that. But by the end of 2018, that lead source was drying up. Our market was heating up and really there were no more expireds. And so I had dabbled in for sale by owners. I had reached out to a few with limited success. And so I started looking around for a way to, a better way to approach for sale by owners. And I, I just found your program, watched a few of your videos, and we got on a we got on a phone call, and you told me what you're all about, what your success was like, and yeah, you know, I, I signed up and have had nothing but increasing value since then. Got it. Yeah, it makes a ton of sense, and thanks for kind of giving us that framework of what the business looked like before. So, you know, I guess the biggest thing that people want to know is it seems like there's so many voices coming at us as real estate agents, do this and do that and do this. You know, what was it in the beginning that, that you and I had talked about or that you knew as it related to, to my approach that made you buy in, made you invest in yourself and then invest into our coaching program in the beginning? So in the beginning, uh, before I knew what I knew, know now about your coaching program, uh, you were very big on, um, framework and consistency. You gave me a very specific, you know, I was, I was previously a, an engineer on my, in my last job as a fisherman, right? So I'm used to checklists and doing things a very specific way so that everything turns out with predictable results, right? And what you offered was a framework of how to approach a for sale by owner in a very specific way that made them comfortable. It came from a perspective of giving and I really like that because I'm not a salesy kind of person. I hate that. I hate when I when I hear that. I hate when I see it from like other coaching programs. It's everywhere, right? I hate that. I really yeah. like the the easy giving, comfortment approach of of helping a for sale by owner. Like I like that. I like that whole. Uh, I think Zig Ziglar. The, the more you can have anything you want if you if you help as many other people get what they want, right? That's the general approach here. That's right. So, yep. I, I absolutely love that. And consistency. You really drill down on consistently, uh, a consistency. And and I really, really like that. And that's really what made me, I guess, if you will, pull the trigger on the program. Once I got in, there's so much more to talk about. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. I remember back to... Um, because how long have we been working together? For two years, is it? Is it two years little, now? Yep, yep, a little over two years. All right. So I, I remember specifically and vividly our, our conversation. I remember, I believe, getting on a phone call with you and your wife at some point, talking through. There was just some, you know, um, some some skepticism. I think in the beginning, which is justified, right? Because everybody is after our money in this business, as far as being real estate agents. And so uh, you and your wife talked it through. You guys thought, "Hey, this is let's let's do this. Let's go all in." And you know, I think a lot of people would say would agree. You're one of our you're one of our best students from a mindset, from an execution standpoint, from an attitude standpoint. Results. You know, walk us through what it was like when you first got started, and what was different about what you were learning that changed the way you and your wife do business today. 
Wow, lots to unpack there. <laughs> so um, again, I guess I guess um, I have been kind of uh, well. We talked about this in this conversation. I actually remember this conversation, and you know, I was really just kind of wildly shooting shooting all different directions, trying to trying to make something work. And we had cobbled together a decent business, right? But what you gave me was focus. I said, look, the this this source of leads is never ending. You're not going to, everybody's not going to be a fit. Um, plenty of people will sell on their own. It's going after everybody that it makes sense to work with consistently, consistent. Uh, geez, that word just keeps coming up. My wife yeah. and I were talking about it before this. You, you were uh, very big on consistency. And that's what I have, I guess that's what I have really learned to be. That is what has changed in my mindset. Not going to get everybody, not everybody's going to want to work with me. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I love it. And so I think the other thing is, you know, and I hope that I, um, there's a lot of people out there screaming from the mountaintops, Dom, as we are now into 2021. A lot of these marketing companies say, you know, you don't need to pick up the phone. That's old school. You don't need to prospect. You can spend money and do this, that, and the other thing. I, I refer to a lot of those as shiny objects. And so, I think when people, Dom, and I want to talk a little bit of the mechanics, I think when people think of, of prospecting over the phone, they think, you know, hardcore selling, high pressure, pushy, but that's not at all what we do when we call a prospect. Would you agree? Oh, 100%. Yep. 100%. Yeah. I, what we teach, you know, and I think Dominic, you would agree, what we teach agents in our coaching program to do is simply we believe in prospecting 100%, but we believe in a process of discovery versus a process of convincing. We're looking for people to be a good fit for what we do and what we believe. And when that happens, we teach our agents to communicate in a way that helps to lower the anxiety, lower the defense mechanism of a prospect to make this thing, uh, this meeting or doing business together easy versus like brain damage that I think a lot of sales trainers are teaching. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. You know what? You mentioned uh, lowering the anxiety there. It, it lowers the anxiety for me too. Like I don't, I don't particularly love picking up the phone every single day, right? But the approach that you're teaching and the approach that you come from makes it a lot easier to pick up the phone and, and make that call and see who is a fit for us, right? That's exactly right. And, uh, and and I agree with that. I mean, yeah, I won't even go down that rabbit hole of making it easier for the agent, but I do want your opinion on, or more so of your advice. You know, I think a lot of agents will watch this video as they've watched other, um, you know, other interviews I've done with other agents in our coaching program that just struggle to pick up the phone. They have, they're struggling from a mindset perspective. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They have all kinds of insecurities, Dom. You know, if you were coaching a brand new agent, what would be some of the advice you would give them just to get them to start, just to get them to pick up that phone and start? Well, <laughs> yeah. So I'd probably tell them the same thing that you told me way back in the beginning. And, and my wife and I, Tara and I have a little business personal meeting pretty much every single day, you know, 630 in the morning over coffee. We talk about this, right? Um, is the pain of not picking up the phone greater than the pain of picking up the phone, right? We just picking up the phone and you need to talk to somebody on the other end who's a human being and they have a problem they're trying to solve and you may or may not have the answer to their problem, but you won't know unless you pick up the phone and call. That's it. So good. And, and you use a word that we use all the time, that pain word. <laughs> and, and, and I try so hard, Dominic, and guys like you that have become you know, like mentors to other agents in our program, we try so hard to help people understand that success lives on the other side of the pain and there is no path around it. And for a lot of people, it's very hard for them to, to accept that, you know, they search and certainly our industry does not help, you know, shows like a, a million dollar listing and, and selling sunset, they make it seem so sexy, so easy that, that money is abundant, that you can get Ferraris with selling one $10 million house. I mean, that's just simply not the case. Right. You know, no, and so, true. yeah. So, so now that you've been with me for two years, right? Um, has it been worth it? You know, walk us through, you know, I guess you were telling me a little bit off air. What is the value for you 
working with me over the past couple of years? And I'm just, and be honest, I want you to be open about it. Sure. So from a monetary standpoint, well, we've over 20 X our investment in this program. Wow. That's from a, yeah, from a mindset, um, look, the, the ongoing coaching in this program, um, you know, the, the, the cost of entry into this program, you would pay that for one month in a different coaching program. Right. And I've been getting it, I've been getting it weekly for a couple of years. So there's no question about value. I, I don't even think that that's uh, up for debate. Massive value in here. Um, your constant uh, coaching of us and, and um, encouragement of us and uh, encouraging, encouraging us to learn and expand our knowledge has just been invaluable. I don't, I don't even know how to, you can't put a price on that kind of coaching. I'm really surprised that you're still doing it actually. Yeah. Well, I was just about to say that. Well, well, thanks for the words, Dom. I mean, certainly the guys like you and people like you that keep me moving forward with this vision. But we, we, when I, when I started coaching agents, Dominic, and I told you my story, you know, I spent upwards of, of probably around $200,000 on your mainstream, you know, coaches, the famous ones that we all know about. When I started, when I said to myself, okay, I'm going to teach real estate agents around the world, my reverse selling system. I'm going to do it in a way that is super affordable, that, that doesn't require an agent to spend thousands and thousands of dollars per month to stay in coaching. They could pay one half of one commission one time and be in coaching with me for the rest of their career. And, you know, it's so far, it seems to be helping people, which is why I keep going to the answer to your question. But the other reason is, you know, I think it's, a, it's always a question of value and the dollars and cents are something that comes secondary because so many agents are, are, are so used to spending so much money on things and not getting the value. When you don't charge a lot for things, people will get a little skeptical. So anyway, I appreciate, I appreciate the word. So yeah. what, what are you, you and Tara, as you guys are, are thinking about 2021, thinking about into the future, you guys have been around this $8 million mark in production. What does the future look like? What are some of the goals that you guys are, are going after? Yeah, great question. And um, yeah, we have big goals. And uh, I guess what we're learning now, what you're teaching us now and what we're learning now is to adjust, right? To adapt to the market conditions that you're in. And one thing that we haven't done very well that we're learning to do now here is to, to build a database, build a pipeline, if you will, of sales that aren't coming next week or next month, but are coming in uh, July, August, September, December, right? We haven't been very good at that. And so that is our goal this year. We're going to keep doing what we're doing, um, going, going out there and meeting people who have raised their hand right now saying they want to do something right now, but also talking to people who maybe not, are not going to be ready till the end of the year. That's, that's what we're going to focus on. That's huge, Dominic. And, and oh my gosh, I could not agree more. I mean, I talked to so many agents, as you can imagine, been in the business for a long time, have not built that database, still chasing FISBOs and expireds 25 years in the game. And so, uh, yeah, the fact that you and Tara are working on that now will pay massive dividends. And I know you've heard me say this, but, but for all of you watching this interview, you know, 50% of my business historically has come from that seller lead database. People I've had contacts with six months, 12 months, 18, two years, three years ago, that manis, manifests into, into commission checks today. And uh, you know, I think it's uh, naturally that people are just addicted to that instant gratification making money now. But what you're saying is so true. We have to monetize our efforts and what we're doing today that will, that will turn into dollars and cents later because you're doing the work anyways. And I think what you're saying is, you're making the dials, you're having conversations with prospects every day, many of which aren't ready to transact business today. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's exactly right. If you talk to, you talk to people every day who own real estate that aren't ready to sell right now. And so why, why disregard those people? Um, so we, we started keeping in touch with them. I mean, someday everybody that owns a piece of property is going to sell it. Or That's think about right. It, right. You nailed it. And, and, and so, oh my gosh, you just gave me goosebumps because I won't go down this rabbit hole either. But <laughs> I think the reason why, Dominic, is some of the advice that these famous gurus give, which is like, hey, if they're not ready to buy or sell in seven days, throw away the lead. It's like total crap. It's the worst advice I ever took in my career because 
Had I listened to that advice, I'd be like every other agent been in the business for 30 years and no database. And it's ridiculous to even, to, to even think that. So uh, listen, I appreciate you. I think I've told you over the, over the last couple of years how much I do value our relationship, our friendship. You provide so much value to our group. And the consistency that you, that you talked about many times today is so true. You're one of, the, you know, one of the agents that we can always count on prospecting on live camera inside of our Facebook group, day in, day out, come hell or high water. Dominic is going to continue to prospect and build your business. So Dominic, uh, certainly appreciate you coming on with me today. I wish you and Tara best of luck. And I'm sure we'll see you uh, here very, very soon. Yeah. Thanks very much, Brandon. Appreciate it. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll be going on our Facebook group here next. So have a great day. All right, Dom. Happy New Year, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. You too, Brandon. Bye-bye. Bye now.